People say that peace runs through my veins, that helping others is part of my DNA. My father was a pioneering peace activist who worked to help disarm and rehabilitate child soldiers during Somalia's civil war. He was murdered for his activism. But today, he's still known as the Somali father of peace. While I never had the chance to know my father, his dream of a peaceful Somalia has become my dream and my future. It's my fight now. I was only two years old when I left Somalia. My country had descended into civil war and my mother took me and my two sisters to Canada to seek asylum. My father stayed behind to fight for peace. That was the last time we ever saw him. Growing up in Canada, my mother always reminded us of where we came from. She would share stories about what Somalia was like before the conflict and tell us about our father and their work together. When I was 16, my mother left me and my sisters and returned to Somalia. It was always her dream to help rebuild her country, and it became my dream too. When I was 19, I finally boarded a plane to Mogadishu. At that time, Somalia was a war zone. The terrorist group Al-Shabaab was waging an armed insurgency that was tearing the country apart. Somalia was also in the middle of a famine that would ultimately kill tens of thousands and displace many more. I started working with my mother and I saw the challenges she faced, especially as a woman. No one believed she could lead peace efforts in Somalia, but I knew better. I was determined to prove that women and girls could be more than just beneficiaries of peace processes. They could lead it too. Together with my mother, I helped revive and grow Elman Peace, the organization my parents started before the Civil War. It is named after my father and inspired by his legacy. We provide education, skills, and resources that young, disenfranchised people need, not only to survive, but to thrive and to become the next generation of leaders. And we have continued my father's drop the gun, pick up the pen campaign to support former child soldiers. We believe less fighters means less fighting. I also co-founded Sister Somalia, the first rape crisis center in Somalia. We provide support for survivors of sexual and gender-based violence, and we help women to rebuild their lives our Rape Crisis Center has now expanded into eight different regions. All of the new centers are led by survivors. Violence against women is a huge issue in my country, but it is almost never talked about. Sister Somalia is changing that. Women are finally being listened to, cared for, and empowered. And this has led to a growing women's movement in Somalia. Peace is possible when women have power. I am so proud of what we have been able to accomplish and I hope that we continue to inspire change within and beyond our borders. But the truth is, we still have a lot of work to do. There are very real challenges that exist in Somalia. I lost my father and my sister in pursuit of peace in this country, but their deaths were not in vain. I have dedicated my life to honor their legacy. They and many others walked so that I could run, and I will run so that the next generation of Somalis may soar. Hi, I'm Ilwat Elman. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it was empowering. If you want to learn more about other people who are striving to make the world a better place, click here and check out more from the Solving It series.